everybody, and welcome back to another fantabulous edition of Poland Daily Travel. I mean, this is a show where we tell you about Poland in ways that you never imagined. I have in the studio the uh, illustrious and always sartorially uh, turned out, uh, elegantly turned out, uh, Nicholas No Relation Richardson, and the inimitable Guy Pinsent, <laughs> who, in our last installment, you may remember, had been talking about Waz. <laughs> the Russian Jeep. Which was a Russian Jeep. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, so uh, what we were talking about in the previous, uh, uh, when, we, when we finished up in the previous uh, uh, edition, was that uh, there was a big difference between even 1994, yeah. uh, 95, and, uh, and 2000. And, and even a bigger uh, transition would started to happen when? About 2004 with yes, the, when the Poland edition joined the of Union, the EU, yeah. right? Yeah. You're going back to your point, though, about taxi Polish. Um, I oh, we want to talk about taxis? Okay. Well, just, no, As the taxis go, the economy, the, no, but all the country old, goes? All the old tricks were going on when yeah. I came back properly in 2003. When I came in 2000... 2003, was, you lived here. 2003, right. I moved yeah. here right. posting... I had no idea about that in 2000, but that, that happened later. Right. And one day I, was, um, I was, had a friend visiting, and we'd gone to the, it was known as the Russian market, actually, the old stadium. Oh, I remember that. Fallen yeah. down. And get it was your AK-47. And you could get anything from a hand grenade to, mm -hmm. you know, pirate, I still got a few hand grenades. DVDs to, you know, anything at all. Um, I so, gave him to Nicholas. Yeah, I don't have him anymore. And, and we were going back in a taxi, and I was speaking English with my guy, and of course the taxi driver thought, oh, a couple of guys that don't know the form, and he tried to charge me sort of 10 times the market rate, at which point I gave him a bit more than Taxi Polish and, uh, <laughs> and got the real rate. Um, but, so they were always trying it on even then. Now, but you learned, now you knew up. Polish when you came here. I had a year's language training in 2002. You had training because you came over here working for the embassy. Yeah. Am I correct in that? In fact, that's where I met Guy in the garden of the... Um, uh, well, the tell us Queen's about garden that. That's party. a travel story. Yes. Yeah, I like well, that. I met first Guy. Uh, the, the, every year, the British ambassador has a garden party to celebrate the Queen's birthday. Mm -hmm. And in the old days, before the stupid decision was made to move out of the residence, which was this marvellous building next door to the Swedish embassy, next door to the across the road from the Polish Foreign Ministry, mm. with, the a, only with, a, with, a, with mm. a beautiful, a lovely garden. So it's ideal for a garden mm. party. Mm -hmm. Grass uh, tennis And, and uh, that's where I met Guy, and uh, mm -hmm. he, we were chatting, and he, because he had, what was interesting about Guy was well, you he... You were like everywhere. You met Craig his first day, yeah, you, you know, met well, Guy, guy was the garden It wasn't party. Guy's first day, but it, what was interesting about Guy... He good gave, memory. Guy gave yeah. me his, his, his um, business card, and he had it in a... His was sort of rather, rather nice, rather smaller than the average size, and a little little business card thing he had. That's how I remembered, you see. Oh, yes. this that was because I was given a business card holder. Yes, that's so right. Is that, is that a Cambridge thing? No, it was no, just no, a random no. just thing. thing. <laughs> 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 We're all us yeah. Cambridge men, you see. Yeah. Yes. 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 So that was, uh, yeah, and that was, uh, that's, how, that's how I remember that's the first time I met Guy. Right. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's really nice. Uh, that's a good memory. It's like, I, I should just ask you when you met everyone I know. <laughs> well, I don't think I've met everybody you know. But probably uh, if I but scratched the surface, you, well, you would be, say, we, 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 I remember. But we've, we know a lot, probably know a lot of the same, similar people, obviously. In mm. fact, we've been here yeah. a long time and we yeah. sort of... Well, we know a lot of... Uh, coalesce in some ways. Polish uh, people, obviously. Yes, you know, Or indeed. people, Polish origin people. Who, but it's just a coincidence like. that I happen to remember the first time I met the... The two guests on your show this, for this edition, you see. And I did mm. not know I wouldn't be able to pull this that. off every program. My researcher <laughs> did not tell me. Oh, well, they always Wait, let me, let me speak to my researcher. Hey, uh, oh, it's me. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't have a researcher. It's yes. just me, which is why the research is so horrible. Yes. <laughs> Thorough. Exactly. <laughs> Thoroughly horrible. Thoroughly horrible. Thoroughly horrible. <laughs> inimitable. Inimitable. That's the, my research is inimitable. inimitable yes. No one would Certainly. want to imitate it. Of it course is so not. No. non-existent. Exactly. The worst research in the world. <laughs> I don't even. What country but, are we in? But I mean, I'm generally, confused. I think I think generally <laughs> Americans are very good at remembering when they met you and remembering your name. I and mean, there's something in the Americans that they're much better than I am at that. Hmm. You know, I, you, I normally, if you being, bump into an American a second time, they can remember the date, the time when they met you the first time. I don't know. I think uh, I think that uh, I don't remember the first time I met uh, Guy. I remember the first time I, I met you. The first time I met you. You do? 
You were playing the maracas in a bar. <laughs> oh, I was playing with my band, yeah. I was playing music. Yeah. Oh, yes. really? Yes. Yeah. You're, I remember you when I met you because you went, you know, people often think that I'm you. You said to me, it was in Kraken, it was a little bar in Warsaw. Was, was yeah. that Popular bar, actually. Really? Yeah, you said, people often think I'm you. <laughs> Because we have the same last name. It had to do with one of my uh, ex-wives. Well, that, no, I only have, this is, I, I, no, I have this less is, than this Henry is a, This is a true story. In fact, <laughs> it, when I first came here, when often I got into a taxi, hmm. they would ask if your first wife was my wife. Seriously. That yeah. happened a lot of time. Yeah. Um, well, I, you're the kind of guy they expected to be married to my wife. <laughs> well, exactly, but I wasn't. Obviously, <laughs> not well, me. Obvi obviously, I wasn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> But but so yeah, that, oh, that's another true, funny. another true yeah. Polish taxi story. Yeah. Yeah, another po everything you can tell the life of a country by looking at the taxis, mm. can't you guys? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So bring us up, bring us up to. Uh, uh, we talked about ninety four, we talked about two thousand. So two thousand five, that's when things really start to kick. So, yeah, yeah. The roads are a lot of them are being finished. They're still working on the road between Gdansk and Warsaw. But a lot of the other roads are finished. The communication yeah. is much easier. Mm. Uh, you know, the uh, infrastructure is filling out, and and then all the services are changing and sure. uh, and that sort of thing. Biggest change has been in the last ten years. I mean, the last decade, Poland has really become, uh, you know, as nice as any uh, country in yeah. Europe in the main cities. Anyway, I mean, Gdansk is amazing now. Yeah, Warsaw is. Mind-boggling the difference, you know, with its skyline and all the kind of uh, restaurants yeah. and entertainment. Uh, tallest building in Europe going up. Tallest right building in, in Europe going up. Northern. All the options for yeah, entertainment. Foster and Partners it? design project. Foster and Partners, that's yeah. right. The great Norman Foster. Yeah. Um, it's going to be how tall? No idea. Do we know? I think it's but the tallest. Apart I'm, from, I'm going to say 310 monsters, meters. Apart from a couple of monsters in Moscow, it's the tallest in Europe. The tallest in Europe. Just. Just a bit taller than the, the Shard in London. The Shard. You know, I love yeah. that name. <laughs> the, shard. the Shard. It sounds like some <laughs> Eastern Mafia thing. I mean, it's yeah. quite interesting. They got yeah. um, an engineers it's will no doubt write in. But that, that, that building, which is going to be the tallest, because it's built over the tracks of the Central Railway Station. Mm. Yeah. So I hope they've got the foundations right, because mm. it's not an easy... You know, mm. not There's get, a whole underground area. Yeah, exactly. That's what It's not going to be easy. Underneath where they're I building the tallest railway. I wouldn't necessarily, if I was choosing yeah. where to build the tallest building in Europe, actually build it over some functioning railway tracks and other infrastructure. It's outside, actually. You'd well, no, build it in a but, more but, substantial but, but, place. When they're you? obviously yeah. digging a huge hole in the ground for about a year for the foundations and underground parks, they came across a massive rock which slowed everything down. Then it had to have a big archaeological study and it was designated a national monument, this sort of Ice Age rock. Wow. Um, so that, yeah, slowed it all down. <laughs> in the, the middle Ice of Age rock in something the middle like of that. Water. Yeah. Well, it is very rocky mm. uh, here. I mean, a lot of things uh, glacially took place here mm. over the Still many do. millennia, <laughs> many, and, many and course, millions of years. And, of course, yeah. in many cases, the, the glacial pace of life has been <laughs> maintained. <nothing> <laughs> <laughs> the glacial <laughs> pace. The leisurely, the, the, glacial the thing, PG you know, Woodhouse things like, existence things like that mitigation you yeah. 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 Exactly, Even yeah. more bleak house than Dickens could have dreamt <laughs> yes. of, I think. Hey, will you stay with us? Sure. When Craig comes, why don't you stay with us and, and join us, because this is, this is nice. Do you have time to stay with so. us? <laughs> okay. So, uh, Guy's going to stay with us. Okay, folks, we'll be right back. We'll be joined. Uh, uh, sorry, we won't be right back. We'll be right back tomorrow night. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, on this next episode. Um, and uh, we'll be joined by Craig Smith, a longtime resident of Warsaw, a Californian. So he can tell us about the difference between California and uh, Poland, because who would know better than someone brought up in the Valley of San Berdu? Stay tuned. Thanks for coming in, you guys.